Here's why Bert Newton describes Susie Ellerman as the most versatile, informed and professional person in Australian media today. She's a respected news anchor. Good evening, Susie Ellerman with the Australia Wide News Hour. Also tonight, controversial logging continues in Tasmania. The Defence Force finds a novel way to entice new recruits and a piece of television history up for sale. First, Tasmania has been battered after a violent storm ripped through the state. Good evening and welcome to the Australia Wide News Hour. Also tonight, we look at environmental issues affecting the Whit Sundays, a desperate search for a missing teenager in New South Wales and a backpacker in Western Australia, and claims of corruption continue to plague the Queensland government. But first, as the investigation into today's foil terrorist plot on Australian soil continues, defence bases across the nation are on high alert. An army base in Townsville, Queensland, is one of many to increase security measures, while at the same time appealing to its community to remain calm. Susie's a TV host and executive producer. Hi, Susie! <laughs> no, that's not Susie. Huh? She's right here. Where? Right here, Teddy. Yeah. Hello. That's Carrie Ann. No, 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 no. Hi, Carrie Ann. No, it's not Carrie. <laughs> I'm flattered, it's but not I'm not Carrie Ann. Is it Bert Newton? No, it's no. not. It's not. Teddy. Well, I worked for Bert for eight and a half years. Me too. Did you? Yeah. Oh, you're looking Who's good. Bert Newton. This interviewer isn't scared to ask the tough questions. Will we ever see Julia Gillard as Prime Minister? Well, I want to be Deputy Prime Minister. That's what I'm devoting all my energies to. And that would be a first, a big historic first for this nation to have a woman at that level of politics. So if I can achieve that, that'll uh, be a very happy day. We'll have to see what happens on the 24th of November. But if, if there's a Stephen Bradbury and everyone else falls over along the way, <laughs> uh, will you step up to the plate? I actually think politics might have its dangers, but it's less dangerous than ice skating, so I don't <laughs> think that'll be happening. <laughs> but would you like it if you had the opportunity? Look, I really want to be deputy. I made a decision last year that the role I wanted in politics was to work with Kevin Rudd and to be his deputy. So if uh, we end up in that position after the 24th of November, I'll be very, very happy and satisfied with that. Well, you've been very open about admitting that you've had cosmetic surgery. Is that to stay longer in the business? Well, it's something I did one interview once with uh, Woman's Day, uh, only because there were some people in the industry who kept pointing it out. Mm. We've had recent publicity with Daniel Johns and Bono talking about you sharing a joint with them. Do you want to qualify that? <laughs> uh, Daniel did make a joke. It was a joke. He qualified it mm. and he was absolutely right to do that. And I read recently in the Australian Woman's Weekly that you also miscarried several years ago and that you regret having ch not having children. I think uh, anything that you don't um, explore in your life that's been uh, a deep sadness. Any questions you wouldn't answer? Probably a couple of that we just went through. <laughs> Susie goes one-on-one -on -one with the big names. You're actually the co-executive producer of Get Smart. Yes. If Steve Carell wasn't available, who would you choose? Wow, who would I choose for Get Smart? Uh, George Clooney, because I think, I think we look very much alike and we, we possess that sort of sexy uh, Cary Grant quality. So I think, I think George Clooney would be an, a nice second choice for most of the things that I do. Twins, only your mothers can tell I, you apart. I know, I understand. <laughs> This is Gio. This Hello, is, Gio. Uh, this is Gaia's dog. Oh, how <laughs> He's beautiful. Greg's dog. He's a beautiful boy, aren't you? He's such a good boy. The way. That's okay. Oh. Here we go. And the comedy? Well, that comes from an hilarious woman who set me up mercilessly in full frontal many years ago. We've shared a magazine cover or two together, many Beauty and the Beast panels and some funny times socially. Back from living in the UK with her new family, please welcome comedian and It Takes Two champ, Lady Julia Morris of The Manor of Goss Forth. On so many levels. How are you, oh, gorgeous? Terrific yourself. Yeah, I'm just delighted to be back in your company, to be honest. Constant Craving, without a doubt my favourite and your biggest hit, really saw you seamlessly go from country to mainstream. Yeah, it was, it was, I, was, I was lucky. Now, I've admired my first guest ever since he launched 60 Minutes, but his career started long before that. He needs no introduction. Five-time Gold Logie winner, Ray Martin. 
Hi, Ray. Susan. Thank you. That sounded like midday introduction you were going through. <laughs> Do you dedicate your book to your mum? I know. She's important to me, mm. as all mothers are. Mm. They are, aren't they? And can I ask you a question? <laughs> sure. If, if you had one more day with your mother, what would you say to her? <gasps> there would be a million things that I would say to her. A million, not yes. just one? Not just one. There'd be a million things. Okay. As a commentator, Susie has strong opinions. Passionate about organ donning. Very you? much so. I think organ it should donation. be an, an, an opt out, not an opt in. Meaning? S meaning everyone should give it unless you decide that you don't want to give your organs yep. and then you can opt out of it. Um, do you think it still does what it sets out to do and that's helped change people's attitudes towards uh, gay people, Susie? Definitely, Kylie. Years ago, the march, police were arresting people who marched on this very march. Now I think the police have one of the biggest groups that actually march in the parade. And as far as revenue is concerned, for, for Sydney, it is the single biggest revenue generator of any event that's staged in the city. And of course, we love a bit of, you know, Razzle Dazzle and the bodies are just a great herd. <laughs> Centrelink has long looked and said, oh, oh, that's, oh, you've had a winning. That's oh. been classed as earnings and therefore they've been told that they've got to pay some of their Centrelink is back. That, is that fair? I think it's shocking. And you know why Let I think it's shocking? Let win. Who cares? High profile sports people behaving badly, how unusual. Oh, look, I do have sympathy like Richard for anyone that has an addiction and multiple addictions are terrible, but Brendan Ford Bowler is floating down that river in Egypt denial mm -hmm. if he thinks going and doing low uh, amounts of money in, in card gambling at a casino is part of his rehabilitation. Susie's an on-the-road reporter and host. Hello and welcome. Today concludes our special week of shows from the beautiful city of Canberra. While our nation's capital was only established back in 1913, so many of the landmarks carry great symbolism, none more so than the Australian War Memorial. Behind me is the tomb of the unknown Australian soldier. The eternal flame burns in the pool of reflection, which mirrors the roll of honour up to the heavens. From the parapet, you can look down Anzac Parade, which is flanked by battalions of Australian eucalyptus and New Zealand hebe bushes. The red gravel denotes the blood shed in war. All of this is visible from those looking from the windows of both old and new Parliament House. Come and join me inside for an amazing history lesson in 3D. <laughs> We are so lucky to live in the best country in the world. We've got exciting cosmopolitan cities, magnificent beaches, gorgeous rainforests. We've really got it all. Susie certainly gets into the thick of things. Well, I said I was going to tackle the rainforest from top to bottom. We've seen the bottom. Now let's go to the top. Hopefully I'm going to learn what my hat name says I am. This one's going upside down. So let's see how I go. This is me going up. This is hilarious. I can't believe they talked you into doing this, Susie Ellman. I cannot believe it. Well, do you know what? The interesting thing was that when I got asked to do it, I just said yes and didn't give it too much thought. You are crazy. Then when I arrived, I started getting a bit anxious and then it really got nerve-wracking because oh. look how close those bikes whiz and oh. whiz and whiz around you. What were you thinking while they were doing this? That's it. Ouch. I tell you, they there are you go. quite... Um, Ooh, ow. <laughs> you were being very you good. Go Is that all, all right? right? All the way off. Right at, all the way off. Don't step on that bit at the end. Just all right. one more step with your right foot, just so you're off. Okay, that's good. Whoa. You can hold on to me if you like. Hello and welcome to a very special show. This is not the latest fashion from Maya. I'm the White Rabbit, who's part of our Mad Hatter's Tea Party that we're hosting as part of Australia's biggest morning tea to raise funds and awareness for the Cancer Council of Australia. Because you're supposed to throw them sort of like straight up, aren't you, so that they... Basically, yeah, it's like... I reckon you and me next series will win it. Oh, eh? that sounds no good. Way. I did. Mm -hmm. And a dip. <laughs> we'll try anything once. Hello, trust you had a great weekend. It's Movember. Do you think it suits me? <laughs> Men are encouraged to grow a moustache for a month to raise awareness and money for men's health issues. The hang of this, Adam. Except you've got much better hip action than I have. 
plus Susie's an award-winning, best-selling author who's half a size. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to show everyone what fat guts I've got. That's great. Stan's mate Susie Elliman is helping out as his personal motivator. Susie lost half her size from this to this. And not only for this, yep. but for that healthy heart. Absolutely. Which yeah, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK. I'm, where is that heart? Yeah, that's very good. I haven't seen this oh yet. Oh, my God, but Susie, look, look at my face on it. How incredible So it's kind of say, that? you look unbelievable. <laughs> and she can even cook on TV too. But of course, when I decided to do it, I said to James, this, you'll love this, so moist, it takes seconds, what have you. Um, in fact, it's like eight minutes in the microwave. And he said, no, no, no microwave in my kitchen. No, no, none whatsoever. Better than that, right? Well, well I'm going. Um, <laughs> it's all in the wrist, Foot's right? down, it's all in the wrist, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some bottoms I've seen. <clears throat> uh, present company excluded. <laughs> not you. <sure. laughs> Bert Newton's not the only one raving about Susie. Now, you owe this little note to my friend Susie, who's very good, I must add, and I just don't want to, like, make you nervous or anything, but, uh, you know, she's pretty damn good at this job, Revel, and uh, you weren't here, babe, so I'm, uh, I'm putting in uh, some information for her. But that's not to say I'm not a big fan of yours, because I'm going to be watching you. Susie Elliman, congratulations, Dale. We know you've got up to 20 shows. That's fantastic. Fatty, well worth fatty, celebrating. Fatty. 20 shows is incredible. 200. 200. 200? Yeah. Are you serious? 200 yeah, shows? Mate, yeah. Congratulations, Susie, on 200 shows. That's just absolutely brilliant. The boys are ecstatic. You, Keep Susie. it going, right, Susie. Susie. Do ya come on, get happy. It's Susie Elliman's big, big day. Come on! Susie went riding. She fell in the ditch. We said, Susie, you really are a TV star. If you knew Susie like we know Susie, oh, oh, what a girl. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, oh, 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 what a girl. And I'll stop there. <laughs> if you knew Susie like I know Susie, well, this show would probably be R-rated. If you knew Susie like I know Susie, he'd be a very, very happy man indeed. And if you knew Susie like we know Susie, well, you'd probably be under arrest. Mm. Ooh, you're all cracked and dry. Smart feet aren't dry feet. No. Foot Smart Heel Conditioner moisturises and soothes. Get smart, get non-greasy Foot Smart Heel Conditioner for soft, oh. smooth feet. So let's take the handbrake off and see what Susie can do for you. Bye for now. <laughs> Vamp it up on the red carpet. Shave your head. Flash your cleavage. Go naked if you want to. Susie Elliman and Maria Venuti, you have a lot to answer for.